Hola, mi amor. ¿Qué es lo que quería tu papá? Decime, please, mándame un audio. Hi, guys. How are you doing tonight? All good. Couldn't be better. Hi. Chanel. Hi. Working. You're working, but thank you for the time, Janelle. Thank you very much for the time that you employ in learning English. I know that it's very difficult when you are working, but you have all your interest to um uh, to, to talk. All right, eh, Anderson, turn on the camera, please, y apaga el micrófono, porque siempre, igual que el día de ayer, se escucha mucho ruido. Thank you. And turn on the camera. Marlene, how are you tonight? All good? Nice to I see you, Anderson. Thank Así you. me gusta verles la sonrisa, guys. Eso es lo que nos inspira a nosotros como teachers. All right. And Gisela, he, she's always punctual. So thank you guys for being on time as well. Yo sé que a mí se me, se me dificulta a veces ingresar porque tengo que terminar mi reunión anterior. ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso a veces ingreso un minutito más tarde. That's why I access one minute late. Pero ustedes se fijan que la venimos a terminar a las 10 y 5 a veces, ¿verdad? So, eh, I always compensate that time, ¿ok? Um, good evening. I, good evening, vi, vi, eh, <laughs> Violeta, all right? Nice to see you guys. Eh, no questions so far con algún ejercicio previo de los que ya contestamos. Creo que there is no question. Or, the, or do you have any question, uh, suggestions, comments, or anything that you want to say something before we continue? Because today we need to finish all the session y vamos un poquito atrasaditos. So we need to hurry, okay? No questions. Okay, so let me share my screen. And um, we are here. Let me just, give me just a second, guys. Give me a moment. Veamos a dónde es que iba. Voy a buscar la presentation. Let me just open the other presentation. One second, one second, one second. Knowledge check. ¿En cuál nos habíamos quedado, guys? En el knowledge check, creo, ¿verdad? Porque vimos... No, que sí que vamos atrasados, Dios mío, bendito. Simple Pass, vimos el knowledge check number eight. No, ese no lo hemos visto todavía. Oh, my God. One second. Que siempre me saca, guys. Que tenía la otra sesión de la otra para del módulo 2 y ustedes son el 1. Just second, please. Oh, I have a horrible backache. Hoy sí que me siento bien, casi como que a little tired. Expression of quantity. Ok, y al, eso también. Eso también. Thanks. And your questions. Mm -hmm. One moment. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Vaya, hoy sí, creo que estábamos entonces pendientes en el knowledge check, que era, ¿cuál era el knowledge check? El 1.8, creo. Uh -huh. um, um, with the this already. Knowledge check, which is the correct one? No, no estábamos ahí. Simple pass. Aquí estamos, 1.8. Ok, 
Now let's check, guys. Which option is a correct way to answer the question? Were you good as students in high school? What do you think? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. All right. Eh, no hay where nunca, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo es el único momento que ocupamos where? Me ayudan con las cámaras, guys, please. All right. Eh, 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 eh. ¿Cuándo ocupo where, guys? Solo cuando estamos hablando de algo irreal. Así como si yo fuera, si yo estuviera, solo ahí ocupamos where, ¿ok? Pero normalmente siempre va a ser was. Eh, the second, can you read for me, Marlene? Okay. Put these words in the correct order. You born where city in this? Okay. Put these words in the correct order. You born where this city in this? Aha, uh -huh. so? Uh, were you born in this city? Hey, very good. Tiene que ser where you primero, ¿verdad? El verbo to be. No, you were born. Esa es una afirmación. Y como es pregunta, le cambiamos el orden. Gisela, can you, can you read number three? For, for my question to match this answer, my favorite subjects were math and science. All right, very good. Math. Math. Okay, math. favorite. 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 Yeah, favorite. Great. All right. O sea, la O casi Great. que nos la tragamos. My favorite. All right. What is the answer? What were your favorite subjects in school? Ajá. Uh -huh. Subjects. Very good. Subjects subject in. Subjects subject in. Mire, arrastro la S para sonar así como más el plural, ¿verdad? El sonido final. All right. What were your favorite subjects in school? En number four, can you read it in Violeta? Which is correct? How many born? When was Peter born? Or where was born? Okay. Tell me. Um, when, when was born? Exactly. When. El WH question, después was or where, y después el sujeto. Excellent. It's ven que el simple past del verbo to be es super fácil. Okay, choose the best option. Continue reading, Anderson. Choose the best question to ma match math this question, response. Question to match this response, okay? Choose. Choose. I was 15 years old. I was 15 years old, okay? So, what is the question? How old were you in 1999? Uh -huh. How old were you in 1999? How old? How old? Okay, how old? And how old? that's it. Let's continue. That was very easy. So, the lesson objective in this case, uh, please help me read. Kristen, are you there? No, por eso no tiene la cámara. Okay, because he, he always turns on the camera. Casi siempre. Um, who wants to read this? Uh, es que está bien larga, right? Who wants to read this one? Okay, Marlene. Okay. Um, build English conversational skills. With the phrase used conversational. to. Conversational. 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 Skills with the phrase used to. Okay. Which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements, negatives, and short answer with used to. Learn English phrases like, I used to phrases? be very... Uh -huh. Phrases like, I used to be very messy, messy, when I was a kid, okay. but, mm -hmm. but now I'm very neat, and I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspaper every day, an oral English comprehension exercise 
is include. Include. It is. It is. Include. No. Included. Remember the included. Very good. Acuérdense la D y la T siempre se lee. Very good. Thank you. A nice pronunciation. Super. Okay, guys. So. Uh, the statement with these two, eso significa that there is a past habit that you don't do or you don't have anymore, all right? It was in the past, but it is over, all right? You don't do it anymore. That is basically what this expression used to mean, okay? Algo que solía hacer, but you don't do it anymore, okay? Eh, así que este video, creo que ustedes ya lo han visto, guys, pero... Um, ¿Por qué lo vamos a escuchar? Porque después de esto hay, un, hay una preguntita sobre ese... ¿Ve? ¿Sí? Así que lo vamos a escuchar, ¿ok? Solamente este. Los otros videos no, porque yo espero que ustedes los hayan visto. Uh, you have already watched them, ¿ok? So, the, this is the video. Let me share the sound and play it. Vamos a ir paralelamente, guys. Le voy a dar un duplicate here. And then I'm going to continue with the knowledge check. No, no era este. Sorry. ¿Qué pasó? 1.10. Ahí está. Ok. Ahí tienen el knowledge check y en este no hay nada que ver, simplemente just listen. It's a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. Escucha, ¿verdad? No dice favorite. Habits, dice favorite, using, ¿verdad? used to. Let me give you a couple of examples. When I was a kid, I used to be very messy. Okay. But now I'm very neat. I am going to ask you for a few examples if we have time, all right? Otherwise, we will have time to practice. Remember, we always have extra time sometimes because there are some topics, but at least the first week, it's a little bit busier than the others. Remember, since um, the next week, we just need to cover the session three, and that is very, very, very short. I mean, at least it's just one, not two, like in the first week. So we will have extra time for sure. And now, ay, guys, miren, si me ven con esta cara, no van a pensar que es como que, puchi, que la ticha le caigo mal. Es porque I have a horrible backache. Ahorita se ando con un dolor de espalda muy, muy fuerte. So, I'm sorry. So, lo siento si me ven con la cara así como, porque hasta la cabeza me está doliendo. Ok, so, pero aquí estamos, guys, ok. Hay que ser responsables con nuestro trabajo. Ok, el trabajo es una bendición, dice por ahí. All right, so 11.11, .11, ahí está, guys, miren, the question is, um, where did she grow up? Uh, where did she have, uh, or what hobby did she have? Um, what kind of games did she play? Uh, also, what did she collect, All right? Oh, she collected this and this and that. Okay, ahí tenemos las opciones, super easy, así que solo pongamos atención al video, right? Se lo voy a dejar ahí y ustedes me dan la I respuesta. To I need, voy a tomar una pastillita y voy a ir a traer agüita, ¿ok? Just pay attention to this video. Can you listen? Si ¿Sí pueden escuchar. Ya, yeah, ¿ok? But now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used 
and after that I'm gonna start explaining how to structure these sentences together so let's do that right now let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about thanks for taking the time to speak with me Jerry oh it's my pleasure you have a beautiful accent where did you grow up I grew up in England in a city called Brighton were you popular when you were growing up not really I wasn't unpopular but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school I had a nice group of friends though how did you like school oh I loved school I was a great student my mother actually taught at my primary school I always thought that was terrific what about your free time as a child did you have a hobby I used to love to draw later I learned to paint and I still do that actually I have some paintings in a gallery right now that's impressive well it's a very small exhibit but it's something I really enjoy did you have a favorite game when you were growing up I used to play video games a lot as a kid the video games then were very different from the games now I didn't have a favorite though I liked a lot of them what about a favorite place hmm my favorite place I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland I loved that I got to go horseback riding almost every day do you still go to Ireland no not very often let me start by explaining this chart first of all let me just get the concept out of the way used to refers to something that you regularly did in the past but you don't do that anymore and let me get started by explaining positive statements so what I'm gonna do at this time I'm just gonna put the formula here and we're gonna try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us so what we're gonna do at this time is we're, we're gonna borrow that first example that you see there so we have I is the subject and then this follows used to and then we're gonna have the verb it's gonna be in the present so I used to and in this case be very messy but uh, okay guys now, uh, I will um, play I will stop neat. the video at this there moment so just for uh, just to answer the other questions just to answer the, the, the other questions okay so for now let's check um where did Jerry grow up she grew up in Brington England thank you thank you what about number two did Jerry have a hobby Jerry used to paint a sh and she still paints today. Thank you, Marlene. And the rest, guys, you didn't pay attention, okay? So what is the answer, guys? I'm sorry, Marlene. The first one, Jerry used to paint and she still paints today. Okay, so it is a habit, but he still has the same habit right now, okay? Mm -hmm. Read number three, please, Gisela. I used to play basketball and football when I was a kid. Okay. Okay. Um, Number two. It's the, all right, choose the best response. What games did she used to play? Oh, so she used to play basketball, all right, when she was a kid. Oh, he was a kid, I guess. He was a guy. Okay. Number four. What did she used to collect when the when you were a kid? Mm -hmm. I used to call it comic collect boots when collect. I was a kid. Okay. Collect to collect, All right? Thank you. I used to collect comic boots when I was a kid. Okay, thank you. All right, Jocelyn, I am aware that you're driving. It's okay. Thank you. Hector, how are you? Is this your first time? Pero mire que me veo con una cara ahorita de que... Guys, y esto que jueves todavía, ¿verdad? Eh, Ivan, my name is Vilma Landaverde, all right? Eh, is this your first time? Uh, no, teacher. Uh, yesterday... No, sorry. Uh, 
El miércoles, uh, Wednesday. Ah, so, Ahí, sí. so you, your first class was yesterday, right? Yes. Ok, okay. But, es que but, miren, yeah. guys, la, las caras, como les digo, se me hacen familiares, pero Héctor, como es la segunda vez, todavía es como que... I have, I still, uh, guys, I have many students, so I'm sorry that I sometimes forget, okay? Um, um, I hate drinking pills, guys. Eso es horrible. I hate, but I hate more the vaccines, right? Esas vacunas, las inyecciones son peores. All right, so what is the answer for number four? Oh, sorry. Um, collect comic books, right? That was the answer. Ah, la, la primera o la segunda, guys? Es que no les he explicado. The first one. The first, the the first, first one. one. Muy bien. Very good. What about number five? My job was easy and relaxing. I used to work from now. Ajá, uh -huh, very good. Ahí está, las respuestas de you have the answers. Um, what was the mistake? Oh, perdón, sería esta, grew up, ¿verdad? Yo, lo siento si yo me equivoqué, guys. Estoy un poquito, I'm a little distracted because of my pain. Así como le, les digo, si me siento un poquito adolorida. So, le, I'm going to explain really quick. El uso de el used to. Okay. To talk about used to, it's when we're talking about a past habit, but we don't use, we don't do it anymore. All right. What is the structure? The subject I used to, and the verb will be always in the infinite form. Okay. Easy. Now, what about negative? Yo sé que ya vieron el video, pero it's too long. It's like seven or almost eight minutes. So I will... I will not play the video, the whole uh, the whole video right now, okay? Uh, I will not play the complete video right now. Negative, the structure will be, if you can help me, subject plus, ¿se acuerdan cómo se ocupaba el pasado? Mm -hmm. Didn't, did exactly, not. did not. Oh, didn't. ¿Y cómo se pone el verbo? How is the form of the verb? In present. Ajá, in infinitive, okay? So the verb doesn't change. It only change. Um, oh, bueno, el used to en este caso se pone así. Use, no, así, used to. Aquí sin la D, ¿verdad? Used to y el verbo principal siempre de base form, okay? So I didn't use to, um, I didn't use to go to, uh, to any excursion. No me daban permiso. My parents never gave me permission. So I didn't use to go uh, on, on uh, excursions, okay? Or on different trips. Ahora, how do you form the questions? Mm-hmm. Si fuera una WH question al inicio y luego sería, ¿cómo se decía, cómo se hacían las preguntas, guys? Es la misma estructura del pasado que hemos visto. It's the same structure. What did? Did, very good. And then? Yes. What is next? Subject. The subject, correct, all right? Subject, all right? Mm -hmm. When did you use or what did you use? Y aquí le pongo used o solo used to. Used. Ah, to. con la D o sin la D? Without, without or with D. the D? With. Without, without D. Ah, ah, without with. the D. Ah, Como es pregunta, okay. ya, ya usemos el did. Entonces el use se queda igual como en negativo, ¿verdad? Used okay. to y el verbo principal. Siempre de forma base. For example, did you used to um, did you used to wake up early? Did you used to go in the morning, or did you used to go to school in the afternoon? Mm -hmm. 
¿Ok? Ahí estamos haciendo preguntas. Did you used to? Yes, I used to. Y ya ponemos el, el T. ¿Ok? Basically, that's it. ¿Ok? So, uh, if we have the time, I'm going to ask you some questions so you can give me more examples. ¿Ok? So, for example, what activities did you used to practice when you were a kid or when you, when you were a kid or when you were younger? Any, ex any example you can give me? Mm -hmm. Could you repeat the answer, teacher? The, yeah, the question is, uh, what did you used to do when you were younger or when you were a kid? ¿Qué solía hacer cuando estabas pequeño, cuando estabas menor o cuando eras un niño? Mm -hmm. What did you used to do? Ahí le pongo la pregunta. What did you used? Perdón, si la e, si la de. Did you? What did you used to do when you were a kid or when you were younger? Marlene? I used to dance every day in the school. Very good. In the, at school. Okay, thank you. At school. When you were a kid. Okay, and then you say, okay, I used to play. I used to uh, practice sports. I used to dance. I used to... Um, study, right, etc. Very good. I used to go to the kindergarten. Yo, no, yo sé que algunos fueron. ¿Quiénes fueron al kinder? Todos fueron al kinder. Adi, Ada, usted fue a kinder, Ada. Did you, did you used to go to kindergarten? Antes no había, ¿verdad? Bueno, por lo menos en mi caso, Ada. I never went to, to the kindergarten. Did you used to go to the kindergarten, Ada? Yes. Yes. But so, todos están, están bien jovencitos. What about you, Carla? Did you used to go to uh, kindergarten? Yes, I went to the kindergarten when really? I was. Yes. All yes. right. I I never went to kindergarten, guys. Okay. And so, tell me another example, okay? What did you used to do when you were a kid? Ya me dijo uno Marlene, very good, another. Tell me more examples. Everybody, guys, todos estamos en la clase, so I need everybody's participation, all right? When I, I used to go to the to play to, basketball sometimes. To the park? No, I... Where did here, you used to go before, to play? I used to go to the gym and uh, basketball too. You used to go to the gym and, and used to play basketball. All right. Mm -hmm. So that means that you don't go to the gym anymore, Violeta. No, no there is no much time, right? Probably. <laughs> Especially I if you... Board, uh, exactly. I couldn't. <laughs> Since she... She, right? It's a she, right? It's a girl or a boy. Um, uh, she and he. Oh, yeah, you have two kids. I'm sorry. All right. Two kids. So yeah. you can say, oh, right. Um, when they were born. Okay. Oh, when my daughter was born. Acordémonos que el verbo nacer es be born, ¿verdad? When she was born. Uh, thank when you very much. Born. Good example. Another, guys. Teacher. I used to go to Teacher. gym. And play basketball. Basketball. Uh huh. Any other? When oh, when I when I when I was a kid, I go to the trip with my. Yo voy. I go. My, Ocupemos el used to. I go, solía, verdad? I, 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 I used to go uh -huh. to trip with my family a river. Uh, oh, and, I just... walked, mm. and I walked uh, one hour. In oh, the... so you used to walk one hour, ¿verdad? Yo caminaba, está yes. bien. Pero decimos, I used to, ocupemos el used to también. Oh, así como lo dijo en la primera oración. To, Very good. I used to walk one hour. All right, uh, now you don't walk. Uh -huh. Yes. All right, excellent. Eh, nice, 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 nice. Okay, another, another, another. Anderson, I'm your teach. example. You're very quiet. You used to go to fish. 
o go fishing. Yes. You used to go fishing, okay? Podemos dejar solo ese, go fishing, all right? Cuando estamos hablando de, sorry guys, when, when we're talking about uh, any um, recreational activity, siempre decimos go, no sé qué, con un ing, okay? Go fishing, go hiking, go running, etc. okay? Good example. Uh -huh. Carla, what is your example? Uh, my example is uh, when I was a kid, I used to go to the Guatemala City because Guatemala my City. aunt. Okay. Because, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you used to go to Guatemala City because your daughter, sister, mother? No, my, my aunt lived there. Ah, and she still lives there? You don't go, or oh, she doesn't live anymore in Guatemala. It, it, she she lives there. She still lives there, but you don't go very often anymore. Ya no va mucho. And no. no okay. In this moment. No. Not at this time. Okay. Rebecca, Janelle, tell me your example. Nice, Carla. I love it. When I used to sit, when I was a kid, I used to practice the dance. To practice? Taekwondo. Ah, to practice Taekwondo. All right. It's, is it almost like karate, right? Karate. Similar. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, there is a little bit of background. That is why I cannot hear you perfectly, but I, I was able to understand. Anderson, tell me your example. When I was a kid, I practiced uh, soccer. I used to practice. How do you spell, guys? When I, when I, when I, como se dice taekwondo, sorry. When I, when I was a kid, I used to practice play soccer. Oh, ok. Practiced. No, solo practice. Aquí no le ponemos la D, solo lo ponemos en el used. All right. I used to uh, practice. Uh, what did you use to practice? Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. Miren, eso, yo no me acordaba de verdad cómo se escribía el taekwondo. All right. There you go. Thank you. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Anderson, what did you use to practice? Sorry. When I, when I was a kid, I used to practice play soccer. Okay. Or soccer. Sin la D, practice. Solo used to practice. Practice, practice soccer. Soccer, all right, thank you. So, ahí puedo decir, Anderson used to practice. Solo le cambio el sujeto, ¿verdad? In this case, for example, with Janelle. Oh, Janelle. Janelle. Um, Chanel, it's a lot. I love this name. Me encanta su nombre. All right. Chanel used to, uh -huh, used to practice Taekwondo. Okay. Uh, do you want to add something? Alguien más que quiere agregar algo, guys? If I ask you, Amanda, if I ask you, did you used to practice Taekwondo when you were a kid? No, I not. I not. Mm -mm. Aquí está la respuesta. Miren. No. I. I didn't. Ajá. Uh -huh. I didn't. I didn't. Use. Use. Sin la e, sin la d, perdón. Use. To. Use. Practice used to practice. I didn't use to practice. Taekwondo. Okay. Taekwondo. Good. Miren, ahí lo decimos en negativo también. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Um, so, let's continue. And we should finish the lesson 12. I'm mean, sorry, the lesson 2 today. Entonces, aquí ya estábamos hablando de used to. Ya lo vimos. Así que, let's answer... 
Ahí está, está también cómo hacer la pregunta, ¿verdad? Justamente lo que yo les acabo de explicar, ¿ok? Ahí, did you, did she, y todos used to, used to, used to, ¿ok? Es lo mismo que diga, did you play? Ya, yeah, casi que es lo mismo, ¿ok? Pero it's another way to express, ¿ok? The, the past habits. Uh, what else? 11.14, I'm sorry, 1.14. Now let's check, guys. Which is the correct one? In number one, help me, please. Um, mm, los que estamos en la clase, verdad, poniendo más atención. Elizabeth, Marlene, Elizabeth. Which is the correct one? You can say first, second, or third, or la tercera. Which is the correct one? I'm sorry. Um, For me, it's the second. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, gracias. Do you use? Uh huh. Teacher, yes, for me, the second, second one. Did you used to worry about money when you were younger? Okay. The second Did one. you you exactly? Uh, why? Why it is raining right now, guys? In Suchitoto, it's raining. Okay. Uh, that is why this this afternoon was so hot. Por eso me decía hoy va a llover, me dijeron. Fíjese, it was so hot. Así dicen que cuando está bien caliente llueve. Right. So now it's raining. All right. Uh, um, ¿Por qué no sería la primera? Porque lleva el used. Okay. Y used to no lleva el verbo, ¿verdad? La tercera. So, the second one is the most appropriate word, uh, sentence, all right? What about number two? Help me, Christian. Let me make it a little bit bigger, all right? I think the correct answer is the answer correct is correct answer. 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 <laughs> um, Did you used to follow politics five uh, uh five years ago? Did you used to follow con la ID the second, or did you used to politics? To politics five years ago. Which which one is the correct one? Um, sorry, I I think I think 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 think. think. No, think. Tiene que sacar la lengua para hacer esa pronunciation. Think. All right. I think. The correct the correct answer is um, number. No, no. Uh, You're not paying know. attention, Christian. No me está poniendo atención, ¿verdad? You're very distracted. Are you at work? Está trabajando. Are you working? Yes. Okay, that's the reason why. Don't worry. I understand. Uh, why do you think... Dígame, Christian. Come on, come on. Vaya, mire. Le voy, a, le voy a poner rapidito esta de apu. All right? Let me... Remember, if it's a question, we, we need to use... Did... Subject and then use to más el verbo principal de forma base. Así como, ¿cuál sería la más, la más correcta aquí? Which is the correct one? Use to follow. Use to follow. The number one is the basic form of the... Uh, Because it's the base form, right? That is correct. Yeah. En, la, en la segunda, en the third one, no hay otro verbo. Entonces, no tiene sentido, ¿verdad? Porque el verbo politics no existe, ¿ok? Um, what about number three? Can you help me read? Um, mm, mm. Guys, ya, ya, después van a decir, es que solo a Xiomara le pregunta, es que solo le pregunta a Marlene. Así que quiero que también los demás me levanten la mano si quieren decirme la respuesta. Ahí tenemos a Amanda, right? There you go, Amanda. Tell me. No. Mm. Vamos a hacer un match, ¿verdad? I used to care a lot about my appearance. Now I am too busy to care about or to care how I look. ¿Con qué le podríamos match? ¿Con qué le podríamos eh, emparejar? Uh -huh. Or what would be the question in this case? 
Uh, what did you use to care about uh -huh. when you were younger? Are you sure, guys? Lo dejamos así entonces, okay? When you were younger, you were younger, you were younger. Mm, más suavecita la Y, ¿verdad? You and younger, all right? Mm, I used to care about, about uh, what did you used to care about when you were younger? Did you used to care about your appearance? Cualquiera de las dos podría ser, pero vamos a dejar la primera como nos dijo, ¿ok? Gisela, read the number four. Complete the question. What kind of video games did you, mm -hmm. did, did you used to play when you were a teenager? Teenager, uh -huh. teenager. teenager. So Did this you used be... to play when you were a teenager? All right, thank you. What kind of? Everybody repeat. It's not kind of. You know, kind of. All right, kind of. Kind of. Kind of. What kind, kind of. of video? Kind of. What kind of video games? Kind of. The first, second, or third one? Second. Yeah. Ahí está. Very good, guys. Y si pusiéramos la esta, por ejemplo... Did you used to, uh, ¿cuál era? Vamos a ver si nos la toma correcta. No, miren. Ah, pues sí, tenía razón. Sería esta. Okay. And so we have that answer already. So we will continue with the 2.1. The 2.1. The two um, well, actually, can you help me read? Who wants to read these instructions, guys? Larguito, but you, can you read it for me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can I? Okay. Uh, lesson object. Learn how to describe problems in using content, not count nouns. By the end of this class, uh, you will to describe problems in as phrases like too many, less, fewer, enough. Mm -hmm. You also learn about common non count nouns, including oxygen. I don't know how to pronounce that. Oxygen. 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 Traffic, milk, soap, sunshine, etc. And how to tell if a noun is a count or not count. And okay. English oral comprehension audio is included. It's included. Nice pronunciation. Solo el yo, all right? Yo. Más suavecita la Y. Very good. Thank you. Vaya, guys. Eso es bien fácil. Ustedes vean, por favor, el video. Como les digo, yo siempre espero que ustedes lo vean para que aprovechemos el tiempo acá sacando las dudas o, cor o respondiendo, answering the, the exercises que tal vez algunos pueden ser difíciles. Otros están súper easy. Vaya. Los count nouns en non-count nouns. Esto significa, guys, que por ejemplo, fíjense, las cosas que no se pueden contar, y se los voy a decir en español, son las, por ejemplo, los líquidos, el aceite, el agua, todas las cosas que sean líquidas no se cuentan. Sí puedo quantify, las puedo cuantificar cuando digo una botella, a glass of water, pero no digo one water, ¿verdad? Para eso entonces ocupo, eh, por ejemplo, las cosas sólidas, el hielo, por ejemplo, no lo cuenta, ¿ok? Puede contar el cubito, ¿verdad? Un cubito de hielo, pero no se cuentan los sólidos, los metales, el agua, y no recuerdo qué otras cosas, pero se las voy a, se las voy a, se las voy, les voy a mandar un link, por favor, es, me escriben, porfa, para mandarles qué son los nombres que no se pueden contar, aunque yo creo que igual en el video aparece, debería aparecer. Um, excellent. Ahora bien, um, tenemos entonces los count and non-count nouns. Ok. Eh, ¿Qué significa contable? Pues algo que usted físicamente sí puede ver, ¿verdad? Sí puede distinguir y contar. Un lapicero, one pen, two pens, three pens, etc. O sea que se puede hacer un plural, ¿ok? Sí. Lo que, lo que tiene plural... Y se le puede poner la S o, por ejemplo, child, children, los que incluso pueden ser irregulares, pero se pueden contar. Ok. Eh, pero, por ejemplo, si yo digo, mm, too many, eso significa que puedo contar, many. 
Pero yo digo too much, es que no puedo contar. I have drunk too much water. Too many pills, muchas pastillas. All right? Many es para count, nouns. Y para non count, ¿cuál sería? Les dije, I just mentioned. Much. Much, ¿verdad? How much or too much. Muy bien. Eh, less, como hay menos estudiantes. Today we have less students. Eso puede ser como para ambos, ¿ok? Countable or non countable. Enough. I have enough water or there are enough students. El enough puede ser también para, para ambos, pero más que todo para non count nouns. Ok. Um, what else? What else? What else? Ahí lo que estaba diciendo, what Violeta was reading, is that for uh, some things, for example, the, ox the oxygen, no puedo contar el aire tampoco, ¿verdad? Y el oxígeno es aire. O es un gas, por ejemplo. Something related to gas, it's also non-countable. All right? The water, as I mentioned, or liquid in general, no. Traffic, no digo, hay, hay un tráfico. Así lo decimos en español, pero en inglés no decimos, there is one traffic, decimos a lot of traffic. Cuando ocupamos a lot, podría ser también para ambos. Mucho de, muchos niños, a lot of children, a lot of traffic, mucho tráfico. Puede ser para ambos también. Etcétera, etcétera. Mira los rayos del sol, ¿cómo lo va a contar? Imposible. ¿Ok? Eh, o las estrellas. Aunque sí veo, vemos el, el planeta, ¿verdad? Pero las estrellas en general no se podrían contar. Aunque sí, de, podría decir many stars, ¿verdad? Pero sí, se, sí, se podrían contar, pero casi que imposible, ¿verdad? Sí podemos contar algunas cuando hay... Cuando está bien, bien... Cuando ya está de noche, ahí sí las podemos ver, ¿verdad? Pero de lo contrario, no. Entonces, eh, también cosas relacionadas al, al, al sistema solar, por ejemplo, o al... Um, uh, uh, al the, something related to universe, ahí sí no, ¿verdad? Pero sí puedo contar los planetas, ahí sí. All right. Um, so, saying that, or with that being said... I will, and I hope that you watch the video so you can actually uh, have a better notion of, of, of this, uh, of the count and non-count nouns. So the following options are countable or non-countable, guys. Oh, perdón, aquí pregunta, is not a count now. ¿Puede contar el bus? Yes. ¿Puede contar el subway? Sí, podemos ver las líneas de los trenes, ¿verdad? Yeah, you can count them. But can you count the parking? El parqueo. ¿Es un parqueo? ¿Cuál podría ser, guys? Que no es un nombre contable de las tres opciones. El parqueo, ¿ok? El parqueo. El parqueo es súper grande, guys. Entonces, no, ¿verdad? What are some examples of non-countable nouns? Choose three options. Non-countable. Ya lo vimos al inicio que era, por ejemplo, water. Can you count the computer? Yes. ¿Y la madera? Puede contar los árboles, pero la madera no, ¿verdad? Co co eh, digamos, you can count wood, pero las, ya, la, ya cuando están cortadas y dice, ok, es una regla, eh, o eso es una viga, como no sé cómo, eh, etcétera, 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 o un poste, whatever. But the wood cannot be counted. ¿A otra cosa, guys? ¿Y el último? The air. The air, ¿verdad? Very good. Now, make sure to select the correct option. There may be more than one. What are some of examples of count nouns? In this case, can, give me three options. Desk, That's camera, sugar, book. no, ¿verdad? Camera. Puedo contar la azúcar, no. Las cucharaditas de azúcar, sí. The camera, yes. Can book. I count the book? book. Yes. Y el café, ¿por qué no se yes. cuenta? Se cuentan las tazas, ¿verdad? Porque es líquido. ¿Ok? O puedo contar los granitos de café, pero en general no me tomo el café con, en granitos, sino que en líquido. ¿Ok? Uh, make sure to select the correct option. Uh, why do the buses cause too much pollution, guys? What do you think is the answer? The first one. The first one, right? Because they are very old, all right? Then why is, why is there too much traffic? Miren aquí, demasiado tráfico, ¿verdad? O puedo decir a lot of traffic, mucho tráfico, pero too much es demasiado. Así como todo San Salvador, Soyapango, Santa Tecla, right? Too much traffic, guys. Um, because... There are too many cars. 
este con ah, la... esas para estas estas preguntas fueron como para el kinder verdad Ok, guys thank you um, eh, eh, eh. pero sí 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 tienen la noción de qué se cuentan y qué no se cuentan así que good job eh, so in this case by the end of the class you will be able to discuss transportation tampoco el transporte no se cuenta verdad simplemente se usa quantifiers o sea o sea o adverbios de pero me de, let me charge let me charge my computer just a moment chat, guys just a second second quick second si no me van a dejar voy a dejarlos hablando solo otherwise I will leave you talking a lot by yourself okay Thank you. Entonces, ocupamos adjetivos, perdón, adverbios de cantidad, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles podrían ser? Oh, many, muchos. Enough, many, fewer, and more. ¿Ok? Eh, ¿Cómo podríamos decir que hay algo? Hay mucho o hay poco o hay no sé cuánto. Hay cuántos estudiantes. How many students are there? Are there in the class? Today there are two, four, six, seven. How many students, guys? Somos, uh, I guess we are 11, right? There are. Ahí digo there are. Si digo there is, si es una cosa, puedo decir there is. Okay, there is one boy. Without the camera. Hay un alumno sin cámara. We, there is one student. Pero tampoco, también puedo decir, we can also mention, oh, there is some water. Hay algo de agua aquí. Ok, some. Oh, there is more water. Hay más agua. There is para non-countable nouns. Ok, las cosas que no se cuentan decimos there is. Got it? Y there are para los que sí se cuentan, right? Yes. Yes, Let's go, guys. All right, good. Thank you for not letting me talk by myself. Gracias por no ignorarme. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> guys, expression of quantity. Aquí ustedes ya lo tienen, ya les dije, ¿verdad? Vean los videos, por favor. No tenemos tanto tiempo para terminarlos todos, así que vean los videos. Hagamos el knowledge check, guys. Um, too many, which is the correct one? There aren't too many police officers in my city. ¿Se puede contar los policías? Claro, ¿verdad? So, para mí esta podría ser la correcta one. All right. Eh, ¿Qué piensan ustedes? Teacher, tengo problemas con la conexión. Ok, Carlita, apague la cámara para mientras, ¿ok? Ok. And then, there aren't enough police officers in my city. Um, ¿Cuál escogemos, guys? The answer one, teacher. First one. The number one, ok. No hay muchos o suficientes policías. Entonces, que el enough no necesariamente lo voy a ocupar para contable, ¿verdad? Generalmente se ocupa más para cosas incontables. Ok. There is too much traffic, so the government needs to build what? Si no hay the enough, si no hay mucho tráfico, it must more. be more highways. Which is the correct? There are too much pollution? There are. No, right? There is too little? Too little? Tampoco. There is. There is too much pollution. There All right, number much. four. Complete the statement. I can't sleep at night. There should be... Menos. Debería. Okay. It's noise. Less noise. And complete the following statement of quantity. Uh, too many. Make sure the government needs to build more highways. More. more. La misma respuesta anterior. Hasta acá la tenemos. Eh, pero qué nos salió mal, guys? ¿Qué hice mal aquí? There aren't many. Entonces sería esta, okay? La, la tercera, guys, perdón que no la leí y como les digo, si sí ando un poquito despistada este día, pero veamos. 
tampoco. There aren't enough. Oh, no hay there enough. Are enough. There aren't enough. No hay muchos o suficientes policías. Okay, guys. There you have. Mire. Sorry, guys. Um, ahora sí. Ahí están las respuestas. And then we continue with 2.6. The indirect questions. De, ¿A qué se refiere con indirect questions? Ay, yo espero que también vean el video. Por ejemplo, cuando digo, could you tell me? Esas son indirect questions. ¿Podrías decirme? ¿Sabías que? Do you know? Eh, ahí está otro. Can you tell me? Could you tell me? Do you know? Pero si se fijan, no digo, where can, can I? Digo, where I can. Porque es una indirect question. Okay? Aquí en, este, en estos ejemplos, los, eh, las preguntas se vuelven como afirmaciones. ¿Por qué? Tenemos una pregunta previa. Entonces, por ejemplo, y si yo digo, I don't know, yo no digo, I don't know where is my cell phone. No, digo, I don't know where my cell phone is. Estamos. Cuando tenemos expresiones como estas, could you tell me, vean, could you tell me where the bank is? Normalmente sería, where is the bank? Pero cuando tenemos indirect questions, usted solamente ocupa la forma como una afirmación. ¿Estamos? And you can watch the video later, guys. Ahí está para que ustedes eh, lo vean. Y hagamos un knowledge check, ¿ok? Based on the listening activity, el video 2.7. Can you tell me where the nearest ATM is? Y si ustedes ya lo vieron, me pueden ayudar con las respuestas, ¿all right? No, no lo vieron todavía. Guys, sabíamos que íbamos a hacer toda la sección hasta la sección 2, ¿verdad? Eh, pero sí nos entretuvimos bastante en el simple pass, ¿ok? Por eso les pido un poquito más de colaboración, guys, porque a veces perdemos el tiempo en estar esperando que hayan participaciones, etcétera, 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 ¿ok? Entonces... Esa se las voy a dejar de tarea. Solo son cinco preguntas, ¿ok? Esa sí va a ser su tarea. Oigan el listening. Sorry, guys. Miren, I, he mandado, <laughs> hablando un paréntesis, he mandado. Mejor no, I don't say this. Pero la vecina siempre está golpeando a los perritos. ¿sí? Es feo. It's horrible. Ok. 2.8, esa es su tarea, guys. Ahí... Oigan el video y ustedes ya van a saber cuál es la respuesta. Ok, y ahí terminaríamos. Sin embargo, tenemos un poquito más de tiempo, right? Eh, let me see what else. Vamos a ver qué tan largo es el video y si no lo respondemos nosotros, ok? Expressing wishes. Oops, no, no, no. Hi, Anderson. ¿A dónde están esos eh, ejercicios? ¿En dónde los puedo encontrar? Porque no, no sé. ¿Alguien le los puede enviar, guys? Y todo. Ajá. ¿Alguien le puede enviar el, el link de la plataforma? Usted ingresa a este, mire, onlineinglescorporativo.net y ingresa con el correo que usted se inscribió y pone la contraseña 12345. Se lo escribo rapidito. Ajá, gracias, ahí se lo están mandando también, ¿verdad? Ahí está, bueno, eh, chicos, veamos el knowledge check, entonces tendríamos que ver el video, este, enter questions, ¿no? ¿De cuál era, dijo, guys? The 2.7, all right, let me see, 2.7 is this one, ah, pues sí, aquí está. Vaya, veámoslo. Creo que no, espero que no sea tan largo. I hope it's not Hi, too everyone. long. But the end of this class, y tiene, es muy largo, ask, guys. Eh? Así que por eso les voy a dejar tarea que lo vean. Ok, en eso sí les voy a pedir disculpas por el tiempo, pero por eso les digo, guys, aprovechemos el tiempo cuando estamos en la clase. Eh, pongamos atención porque eh, hay veces que nos tardamos mucho en responder que nos estamos mucho pensando, yo a veces incluso les digo, ok, 
quiero respuesta, quiero pregunta. Y hay personas que todavía se quedan como no tienen la pregunta y ya les advertimos previamente. Entonces, el tiempo, guys, que pudimos haber invertido en este último ejercicio, ¿verdad? Eh, lo, tal vez lo, lo perdimos en otras cosas que tal vez estaba como esperando quién me, quién me pronunciara, quién re respondiera, etc. Entonces, necesito también de su apoyo para que nosotros avancemos más rápido. Entre más rápido avanzamos, mejor, ¿verdad? A, 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 um, no. Aprovechamos, we take advantage more of our time. ¿okay? Así aprovechamos mucho más nuestro tiempo. So, guys, eh, voy a escuchar el video y eh, si tienen alguna duda, me avisan y yo les mando las respuestas, ¿ok? Yo se las voy a mandar, no se preocupen. Les voy a mandar un screenshot en este momentito, antes que se me olvide, pero por favor... No vean el screenshot y no respondan así todavía. Escuchen el video primero. Nos vemos el día lunes, guys. Ok. Take okay. care, please. Okay, Por favor, bye vean bye. los videos, guys. Bye Good bye. Night, everybody. Take care. Good evening, everybody. Bye. Right. Evening. bye bye, guys. Bye -bye. Take care. Take care. Thank you.